the most beautiful beaches in the United States. And as they compete, the ladies will also be wearing shoes by Federico Leone. And we have asked each contestant to tell us a bit more about herself. We begin the 1994 Miss USA Swimsuit Competition with Miss Tennessee. Well, I joined ROTC in college and continued on serving in the Army for a tour in Central America. And I loved being in the Army, but there were, there were times when it wasn't always easy. I had to sometimes re reach way down deep inside myself, and yet, now that I've stuck with it, I feel like a survivor. Miss Hawaii. I've grown up in Hawaii, a melting pot of different ethnic groups. Both my parents are from the Philippines. I lived in Japan and Taiwan. And because of all of this, I'm very interested in being a cross-cultural trainer. Miss Kansas. You know, I, I have never entered a pageant before in my life. So I am very new to this. It's a very different experience for me. I feel like I've grown from it. And it was a learning experience, and I feel differently about the pageant and view it different than I did before. Miss Illinois. Well, whenever you came into the Farrell House, there was always music playing. I started playing Beatles 45s on my little Raggedy Ann record player when I was four years old. And my dad listened to jazz, mom was into opera, and then my sisters and I were all classical pianists. So you could always hear everything from Bach to Led Zeppelin. Yeah, there was always music playing. Miss North Carolina. Well, the first thing that I notice about other people are their eyes and the energy and their face and their warmth and if they touch you. And, and I think the human touch is um, very, very important. It builds rapport and, and you connect with people. Miss Texas. Showing the other contestants around has just been wonderful, especially around Texas, but also um, across the border in Mexico. We went over to Fiesta and saw some folklorical dancing, and the girls had a great time, so it's just been wonderful showing the girls the best of two worlds. Miss New York. Swimming has meant everything to me in my life, I think that I learned how to swim before I learned how to walk. And it, becoming an NCAA All-American certainly didn't come without a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifice, but I would do it all over again if I, if I had to. Wouldn't change a thing. Miss South Carolina. Well, I've always grown up around animals and especially horses, and I even studied on my horse at times. And now as a teacher, I try to instill in my children to find something that they're interested in, such as horses or sports, so that they can build self-esteem. Miss Minnesota. Well, I've definitely faced a lot of challenges in my life. I've moved at least 30 times. I toured the country for a year as a spokesperson, and I've made mistakes, but I've learned that you can never give up on yourself or your dreams, and it's all just really given me a very strong spirit. Miss Louisiana. The person I admire most would be Oprah Winfrey because she had such a difficult childhood, but she didn't let that get in her way. She's very successful, and she's one of the most respected women. I had a difficult childhood, but I don't use that as an excuse. I'm the first person in my family to go to college, and I'm going to be a doctor one day. Miss Missouri. Well, actually, after college, I moved back home because I realized how much money I could save at home living with my parents. And anyone that knows me knows that I'm a real saver, that I save my money. So I'm saving up to build my house of my own one day out in the country with lots of animals. And Miss Virginia. I would describe myself as someone who's 
who's ambitious, someone who wants and has a lot of goals in life, um, but someone at the same time that's just fun and down to earth and from a southern background and just likes to act silly sometimes. Sensational ladies, that completes our swimsuit competition for Miss USA 1994. Oh my goodness, there are 12 young women who definitely are in shape. <laughs>